Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. You all thinking that I'm gonna use Bogonda? I even got him in my red picks. But no, the Unsung Hero for this week is Jean-Philippe Mateta, plays for Mainz in the Bundesliga. Has some uh, okay stats for a striker, high low, I'm always a big fan of that. Uh, has, has really good stats, good shooting, good physical, decent pace, good enough for me at least. Put him in this Bundesliga slash French hybrid and let's see what he can do. The first opponent plays with a pretty standard looking Premier League team, but and a bit of La Liga of course, but he's way too attacking. Even if he switches Aubameyang, he's way too attacking. And that became obvious really, really uh, early in the game. And I realized very, very soon that Mateta was really good at holding up the ball. He was also good at creating chances for himself, but like this, holding up the ball, waiting for other people to make a run and then just giving the ball to them. Iriconi can't finish, but still great shot. And I kept doing it because I realized you can't really stop him. He's so strong and his passing is actually decent enough to give these kind of passes. Bailey makes a run, has blistering pace, so an easy goal for uh, Leon Bailey. 1-0 up. Second half, pretty much the same story. I kept playing uh, Mateta with his back to, to the goal. Sometimes I tried a bit of magic with him, like here. Can't finish, but still I, I tried something, because why not? And you can see the clips are pretty much the same thing. Always getting Mateta involved. I know I need to get the ball on the right foot. And that's a great shot from outside the box. 2-0 up. That's pretty much game over. But I'm uh, I'm not done yet. Giving the ball to Leon Bailey. That's a really bad pass for me. Ball flies out. But he makes a mistake by uh, not throwing it far enough. Mateta's alone in front of goal. Great volley. That's 3-0. And that's... All that my opponent had to give. He decides to uh, rage quit. I can understand. I mean, if if you're if you're having a goal and three 0 down, that's nothing. That's not ideal. Uh, Mateta was obviously man of the match. Two goals and assist. But let's see what he can do in the second game. And the second opponent is a big Inter fan, I think, because he uses a lot of special cards from Inter and normal cards from Inter. First chances for me. I try to reach Mateta, but uh, Zabitzer think, well, I can try it too. And then the first warning shot gets fired here by uh, Hakimi. Great save from Manuel Neuer. Ball stays with him, and then you just know it's dangerous. Because this guy was a really good dribbler. Um, I, I can't really defend against people who dribble this good, because I'm, I'm way too aggressive. He gets a shot with Ericsson, ball flies a bit wide, but okay. But I couldn't stop him. Uh, he was really good with Hakimi, and also with... Uh, Carrasco, which he's going to completely destroy me with here. Great dribble. That's an easy shot for uh, Carrasco. Okay, just after that goal, I I tried to get an equalizer in the first half and then the second half, you could see Omo makes a great run and the ball hits the crossbar. What a shame. If I could have gone into the half with an equalizer, that would have been totally different. Second half, I was trying the same things I did in the first game. Try to get uh, Mateta involved. Uh, by using his strength, reaches the ball to Leon Bailey, can't finish again. Uh, then we get one final opportunity in the game to equalize it. I don't know what I'm doing to do here, reaching Mateta, shot gets blocked, Sushek is there, gives the ball to Bailey and the ball hits the crossbar, what a shame. And that's all she wrote in this game, 1-0 loss, I couldn't leave it at that, so I played uh, one more game. And the final opponent of the episode also uses Aubameyang, but a special card from him. Uh, but he's way too attacking in the midfield. I don't know why people still try it, because it doesn't work. Mateta gets the ball on the right foot. That's an easy goal from him. 1-0 up after that soon in the game. I tried to reach Mateta again, because he's really big and he's really great at heading. But he can't finish. Savernier and great save from Hugo Lloris. First time that my opponent actually comes to my goal, it's a goal, because Aubameyang is just that dangerous, can't really stop him. Uh, I was dominating this game, creating chances left and right, Leon Bailey tries to get a chance, ball doesn't fly in. Uh, here he can only stop Mateta by taking him out, so uh, that's a free kick. I, I have a kind of a thing with free kicks on that position, I take someone who has high free kick stats, select one of my attackers and then drop the ball just behind the defense and run through it. Because that's always an easy way to get a goal. And I actually scored a goal with Mateta. Normally the ball doesn't fly in. But uh, okay. 
Uh, second time my opponent actually <laughs> comes to my goal, it, it's bad defending for me, especially with uh, Boateng. I don't know why I walk to the left, because I just need to stay in place and then uh, it doesn't end up being a goal. I see Ikone making a run, he has the pace the uh, to burn and then he tries the most obvious way to get a penalty. Of course you're not getting a penalty for that, because that in no way is a penalty. Extra time of the first half, I'm still trying to get uh, something. Leon Bailey, great dribble, gives the ball to Sevenier, gives the ball to Mateta on his left foot this time and it's also a goal. He has a hat-trick in the first half, what a player. Beginning of the second half, same story, bad finish for me with Promes. I actually try to do a bicycle kick here. Mateta doesn't do it, but the ball still almost flies in. We get a corner kick, always going for Mateta. Can't reach him here. Leon Bailey gives the ball up to Sambia. Ball roll, ball roll, and just a goal. Great player that Sambia, just unlock him. You need to only win three silver games with him, just do it. Then big chance for Quincy Promes. Again, amazing save by Hugo Lloris. He just keeps him in the game. Still trying to get more done. Promes gets the ball from Mateta and he actually makes it a goal. That's 5-2. I didn't. I uh, stopped paying attention for a moment and then with the pace of Aubameyang, that's deadly. He runs through on goal. Easy goal from him. 5-3. Actually, is hat-trick for Aubameyang. And you know me, when I get a free kick on that position, I'm always going to try the volley. But Sabitzer actually has really great stats for it and he almost scores it again. Amazing save from Hugo Lloris. Ruins my uh, pretty cool goal. Bad, bad header so that doesn't really matter. Makes a mistake here. Mateta is there and he actually makes his fourth goal of the game. It's 6-3. This, what a card. Best player ever. That's probably a bit, a bit much, but he was really, really good. When I first saw his card, I think he was, he's, 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 I think he has high, pretty high agility, pretty okay agility, let's say, but pretty high, uh, low balance. Sort of, well, he's going to turn like a tank, he's going to be unusable, but he's actually really good. In this game, he had four goals and an assist, so pretty crazy from a, from a guy that probably no one would ever use. And as you can see by the stats, I was completely dominating this game. My opponent had three chances and he actually scored three goals. So pretty good. And we had the same exact skill rating. So uh, I don't know, maybe he was testing out a new team. Maybe he was trying some new stuff. I don't know. So should you put uh, Mateta in your team? I would say yes. He's really good. He's really cheap too. So uh, why not give him a try? But that's going to be all for this episode of Unsung Hero. Hit that like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.